O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Prophet Isaiah, Chapter 4 In that day seven women will put their hands on one man, saying, there will be no need for you to give us food or clothing. Only let us go under your name, so that our shame may be taken away. In that day will the young growth of the Lord be beautiful in glory. The fruit of the earth will be the pride of those who are still living in Israel. And it will come about that the rest of the living in Zion and of those who have been kept from destruction in Jerusalem will be named holy, even everyone who has been recorded for life in Jerusalem. 
where Zion has been washed from her sin by the Lord, Jerusalem made clean from her blood by a judging and a burning wind. Over every living place on Mount Zion, over all her meetings, the Lord will make it cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For over all, the glory of the Lord will be a cover and a tent, a shade in the daytime from the heat, and a safe cover from storm and from rain. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Gospel according to St. John, chapter 6. Then the Jews who were hostile to Jesus began complaining about him, because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. And they said, Isn't this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he say, I have come from heaven? Jesus replied, Do not complain about me to one another. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, They will be taught all will be taught by God. Everyone who hears and learns from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. I tell you the solemn truth, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness and they died. This is the bread that has come from heaven, so that a person may eat from it and not die. I am the living bread that came from heaven. If anyone eats from this bread, he will live forever. The bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Then the Jews who were hostile to Jesus began to argue with one another. How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, I tell you the solemn truth. Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in yourselves. The one who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is the true food, and my blood is the true drink. The one who eats my flesh and drinks my blood resides in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father. So the one who consumes me will live because of me. This is the bread that came from heaven. It is not like the bread your ancestors ate and then later died. The one who eats this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. Then many of the disciples, when they heard these things, said, This is a difficult saying. Who can understand it? When Jesus was aware that his disciples were complaining of this, he said to them, does this cause you to be offended? Then what if you see the Son of Man ascending where he was before? The Spirit is the one who gives life. Human nature is of no help. The words that I speak to you are spirit and life, for there are some of you who don't believe. He said this, for Jesus had already known from the beginning who were those who did not believe, and indeed who it would be who would betray him. So Jesus added, No one can, because of this, I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has allowed him to come. After this, many of the disciples quit following him and did not accompany him any longer. So Jesus turned to the twelve and asked, You don't want to go away too, do you? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom? would we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus replied, Didn't I choose you, the twelve? And yet one of you is the devil. He said this about Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, for Judas, one of the twelve, will be the one to betray him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments and also that by you, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, 
may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Collect for aid against all perils. Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>